Hi guys, I want us to look at uh, how you can uh, run Microsoft Access within the shortest uh, time possible. Basically, uh, what you need to understand or to learn in Microsoft Access is uh, you are supposed to learn about how to create a database, then how to create tables, then how to create queries, forms, and then how to create reports. In this session, I will use a, a case study of a question paper that will help you to uh, learn all that. Therefore, basically, if I go through this paper here, uh, we shall uh, open a database program and create a database named Pamoja. Then we shall go ahead and create a table named membership, just like uh, you have been given instructions below here and later on we shall go on and create queries and other database objects therefore basically guys uh, you launch microsoft access for that case uh, now we want to create a database therefore in this session here you click on blank database then you will get a file name you will be asked for a file name and therefore our file name is pamoja Pamoja. Then you hit on this folder that is browse for a location. Therefore, I want to save my work in my documents. Therefore, for that case, I just hit on OK. Then create. Uh, then once you do that one, this is Microsoft Access screen uh, that is launching. And therefore, uh, we usually have the home tab. We usually have the create tab and the create tab is the most important here. We, uh, we uh, also have external data. We also have database tools, but the most important uh, 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 or tab here or ribbon is create. Therefore, if you are keen enough, you will notice that um, create tab will allow you to create tables, will allow you to create queries, uh, it will allow you to create forms and also reports and others advanced, that is other advanced objects like macros and coding. Therefore, to create a table from the instructions given uh, here, uh, we usually have the field names, therefore we usually have the field names, we usually have the data types and field properties. This one will help you to make your database more uh, precise. Therefore, basically, we, uh, we have the field name. Uh, the, therefore, we have the field name, data type, and properties. Therefore, let me show you how that one is done. Therefore, you usually go to uh, here, that is point here. You can cross this one. Then you just go to create. Then you hit on table design. Therefore, guys, if you are keen enough, you'll notice that now I have field name, I have data type, and also I have description. And down here, it is telling you that description uh, is this, that is description is optional. And for that case, uh, we have the uh, we have this one mem num size four and primary key. Therefore, we have uh, the member the member number num like that one it should be size four. Therefore, these are the field properties, guys. Here, therefore, this is where we set size four. Then we set primary key. When you talk about a primary key, it is a special field that cannot accept duplicates and also cannot be left NAR. And in addition, it is a field that uniquely identifies that record. Then here we have first, we have first name, first name. Also we have last name, last name for that case. Rust name. Then uh, we may be asked to have something like age. Let me just use year, year of uh, that is year of birth. Therefore, year of birth here we usually have different data types. You see now we have text, wrong text, number, large number, date and time, currency and uh, others here. These are the data types that you can utilize. For example, year of birth is a number. Then we can also have something like date admitted. Date admitted. 
And for that case, date are limited from the data types here, that is date and time. Also, you can have something else like fees uh, paid. You know fees paid is money, therefore you choose that one as uh, currency. Also, uh, I may wish to insert a field here, that is serial number, that uh, will have number one, two, three, uh, following each other, therefore you can have serial number serial number serial number for that case i want numbers incrementing one two three four that way it's for that case for such field you choose auto number therefore for this case i have one two three four you see now it is an automatic number then from there we may also have something like um, uh, whether this guy is absent uh, that is uh, uh, present or absent uh, present uh, or, or absent absent uh, for that case this one is either yes or no uh, in programming it we refer it as boolean therefore <coughs> i said yes or no i may also have to capture the photo the photo of this guy for photo and signatures you use uh, attachment for that case on the other hand, I may wish to calculate the age of this guy, given the year of birth already. Therefore, uh, for instance, if I want to calculate the age here, I can just go to this field called calculated field. Then on the expression builder here, I just come to this point and type, we are in the year 2022. Therefore, 2022 minus the field. The field is year of uh, birth. If I can just confirm here, it is year of birth. Then you encross it in square bracket. Then you just click on OK. For that case, guys, you can see now this is calculated field. And uh, uh, for that case, whereby it will, the system will take 2022 minus the year that I will key in here. Then on the other hand, guys, uh, you may wish to have uh, the gender, the gender of this guy here. Therefore, for that case, you can use rookup wizard. Therefore, I just go down here and hit on rookup wizard. Then the wizard launches here. Therefore, the wizard usually have two options. We usually use option number two. If I want to type, I will type in the values that I want. Then I just hit on next. For example, here I need to have male and also I need to have a female and also uh, not specified not specified for that case so I just hit on next then finish for that case um, if so far I save this table of mine by hitting on save I can just save it as student uh, details for that case so the next thing is to cross this table right click cross or then I double click so you see now I can be in a position to fill uh, uh, that is names here. Like for example, this is Dan Moses. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, this is number. Uh, we have number. Remember we we restricted this field. If I can have one twenty there, then first name Dan. Then we can have Moses. Then year of birth twenty two thousand. Then data admitted guys seventh. Then if he's paid, we can have fifth, uh, that one. Then we have a present. I tick that one. Then we first of all skip the, the photo. I will show you how that one is captured. Then for the gender guys, you see now the lookup wizard, I can be in a position to type mail. Then we proceed. You see now this serial number that we set auto number gives number one. Then we can go to the next guy the next guy is Janet James, uh, born 1999. Then today's date, there. Then this one has paid, has paid 850. She's present. Then the age is automatically calculated for you by the system. This is a uh, female. Uh, so guys, so far you have you can be in a position to see how data types are applied. Then on the other hand, uh, we might uh, wish to have something like registration fee, Reg registration 
registration fees, whereby registration fees must be uh, a value between 1,000 and 10,000. So somebody cannot, is not supposed to pay more than or less than uh, 1,000. So for that case, you just go to currency. Then down here, we have validation rule. This is the field properties. So I just go to the validation rule and type greater or equal to uh, 5,000, for example, and less or equal to 10,000. So this means that um, the expression here limits somebody from uh, entering a value less than 5,000 and a value greater than that one. Therefore, in the case that one is violated, or you go against it, you will get the following error message. That is the error message. You can see here you have been ex uh, getting, you are getting the explanation. This field gives the error message. Therefore, you can just say uh, check, check the value and retry that way. So if uh, I go back to, if I save this one, I go back to my table here. If I try to enter a registration fee uh, that is 5,000, the system is comfortable. But when I enter something like 4,000, then you see I get an error message, check the value and retry. So I'm supposed to escape and give a value that is in the range. So guys, you can see the, the importance of this. On the other hand, if we go back to the year of birth here, we want this uh, system to capture guys who are born uh, in the year 2000, that is in the year 1998, 1998 and above. So it should be greater or equal to 1998. In case uh, you get another message, check the year of birth. Check the year of birth. So guys, this is how you utilize the field properties. On the other hand, I may wish this uh, field here, uh, instead of registration fee, it writes reg fee. Therefore, that one is done in the caption. Caption, this is the label uh, that will be displayed on the table or form. So, for example, this one should be reg fee. You see now here it is registration fee, but I have assigned reg fee. So if I save that one and then go to my table, you'll notice that registr registration fee uh, where is registration fee? Registration fee will be reg fee. There we are. You see now it will be, it will read as reg fee here. Reg fee, not registration fee. So you can change these titles in the label um, using the third properties. Also, I need the year of birth here to be automatically inserted as 1998. So you click on the field, go to this session here called the default value. Therefore, you just go to this value, then type 1998. That is the value that is automatically entered for new items. You see now the explanation is here. So guys, if I run it here, you'll notice that uh, 1998 is automatically assigned for all new uh, records. So guys, after doing that, we can proceed to creating forms. Therefore, there are many ways of creating form, but uh, uh, we can just use wizard for beginners. Therefore, you just go to create, then you go to form wizard, then you choose the fields you want uh, captured. For example, I need everything. So I hit on that button, sends everything to the right hand side. If I hit this one, everything is uh, taken back. But if I just need a few fields, like for example, I need that one, I need the first name, last name, year of birth, then I also need the photo. That way, I don't need the rest. So guys, I just click on next. Then here, uh, I choose the layout. I need to choose columnar. Columnar means it will be in column format. Tabular means it will be in table format. So I just need to do that. Then here, you type the name of the form. Therefore, this is uh, student capture. Then you hit on finish. Wizard will automatically populate for you the form. Therefore, guys, from this point, you can opt to right click, then go to design view in case you want to do some modification. Like, for example, I need to brighten this one. So I just go to format. I hit on black color, then bold. 
then right aligned. For these ones, I need them to be color red, red and also bigger in size, like 16, and also bold. And can also change the font style for that case, you see? Then I can also change the color for this one, right click, go to fill back color, I can choose the color for that session. Can also right click, uh, make that one black, but the text white. So I can just do that. Then can also increase the size of this by going to this session here, then click on that, then center. I save my work, home, view. Guys, if now I need to capture the photo, I can just double click here. Uh, remember, I used attachment data type, then add, then I can just go to where my images are, it just, then I can be in a position to uh, take this gentleman here as my Moses, you see. Then here, there are navigation records, I go to next. This is Janet James, double click, add, then this is uh, Janet James, this beautiful lady here, like that. So guys, uh, and then I can also try to add some buttons here instead of using this here. Therefore, right click, go to design view. Then you can just cross this one. I needed to add the buttons. Therefore, you go to this session and hit on button. Then you just draw. Wizard will automatically pop up. Therefore, I need next. I need to have next record. Then here I choose text, next, finish. Then I go back. I choose another one. I go to previous, the text, next, finish. That way. I also need to have cross button. So I just go to form operations, cross form, next, text, text, that way. In case I need to have add rec new record button, just draw, go to record operations, then add new, next, text, next, finish. So if I save and run my form, you see, guys, I can be in a position to use now my navigation buttons here. I can also add a new. I can also close my form. So that's how you can easily create a, a form. Remember, guys, I have taken you through how to create a table and also how to uh, create a form. Uh, so this is the table. So let's see how you can create a query. A query is actually a data object that can help you to do calculations uh, or filtering. For example, you just go to create, then you just go to query design. If you have several tables or several queries or both, you just come to this point, double click, cross it. Then I need to create a query that will help me to filter uh, age or year of birth. So you can just double click the fields I want. I want that one, I want that one. I also want that one, I don't need the rest. So I just click on save. Then you type the name of the query. You can just call it a, a student, students one. Remember you cannot rename or name a query and a, a table using the same name. So after you do this, you usually hit on run. So guys, you see now, I have my query here. Query is very similar to tables, only that it can help you to do manipulation. For example, if I go back to design view, I want to sort. Uh, uh, that is fa uh, name, first name in a descending order. You see now I can be in a position to do that. Therefore, if I run, you see now Janet starts, then done. If, for example, I want to uh, produce or to display this guy who was born in 1999 and hide this one, just go to design view. Then here, down here, in the criteria, I type 1999. For that case, if I save and run, you see now query is uh, helping me to do some manipulations. You can also do some calculations uh, using queries instead of using the table there. Like for instance, I want to see, uh, I want to see this guy is here. For example, I need to see the age of these guys in the year 2030. So I can just go to this session here and then type type uh, age in 2030. Then you put a full colon. Then 2030 minus now this field. Uh, that is uh, year year of birth. Remember, spelling mistakes are very crucial. So guys, if I run now this one, you see now this guy will be that one years old in the year 2030, this one will be that 
Therefore, you can, that's how you can use a query to perform calculations or manipulations. On the other hand, you can also create a report. Like, for example, I needed to have a report connected to this form. So you just go to create. Then you go to this session. You see now, we have gone from tables, queries, forms. There now I am taking you through reports. So you just hit on report to wizard. Then you choose the fields you want. I want that one, that one, that one. I want year of birth. I also want the fees paid. Uh, the year. Fees paid and age. Yeah, I need the age. So I just hit next. I hit next. Here you can choose the field you want to. Uh, uh, that is to sort with. Then next. Then here I want my report to be in tabular. Then here you type the name of the report. You can just call it summary. Summary. Then finish. Therefore, Microsoft Access will create for you a summary that is printable that you can also export in PDF. You see now I can export it in PDF if I want. I can also export it to Microsoft Excel. I can also uh, do it to Microsoft Word. So uh, in case you want to manipulate the report, you can also right click here, go to design view. Then uh, you can just do your stuff here. Like for example, I need to go to format. Then I go to this session here. Then you can just uh, make it bold or more visible. You can also do the same to this one. You see now I am making them bold. You can also uh, make your report uh, summary. Like now here you can just call it uh, class list. That is, uh, sorry. Uh, list of students, list of students. Then you can also insert something like a logo here. Just go to design, then insert image, browse. You need to enter the logo, uh, the logo here. Therefore, I can just, for example, use this one. Then I just draw, that is my logo. Then can insert a heading here using this label. Can just draw there and call it uh, something like um, school management system then right click uh, sorry click outside then inside the rebo you can increase the size that way uh, that way that way that way then now you can also do the same to format that then from there uh, i save my report so guys you see now i have my report then i can also opt to connect my report here therefore right click go to design view then take the same button here draw it here then go to report operations, then preview report. Next, you choose the report. If you have 10, they appear here. Then here, just, uh, just write print a report, then finish. So if I run my stuff here and hit this one, it will automatically now open for me the report. On the other hand, you can do some calculations on the report. They are done on this session here. Remember, report has sessions. You have report header, page header, and the others. Therefore, you can just uh, hit the button below to see uh, a tutorial on sections of a report. But calculations are done on the report footer using a text box. A text box usually have A, B. So I hit on the text box. I want to calculate the average, uh, or that is the sum of these ages here, or sum of the, uh, that is the total fees paid. That is the best. So. What I need to do is to click on this one, type equal sign, a formula starts with an equal sign, then I open the bracket, then type the sparings of this field, the correct sparing. This is fees uh, paid that way. Then this one here can just bring it closer that way. This is the uh, total fees paid. Then you can make it more vivid. Uh, by going to this session, format, then you hit on this one, also put something like uh, uh, size 14, then save it. From there, you can be in a position to see that uh, total fees paid, guys, is 14.10. And therefore, guys, that is just a crash a reason on how you can run Microsoft Access. For advanced uh, tutorials on how to use Microsoft Access, Kaidre, uh, Perus, or just 